As humans, we're naturally driven by the search for better. But when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search at all. Don't search. Match. With Indeed, when I was looking to hire someone, it was so slow and overwhelming. I wish I had used Indeed. If you need to hire, you need Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform, with over 350 million global monthly visitors according to Indeed data, and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging so you can connect with candidates faster. And Indeed doesn't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at Indeed.com slash podcast. That's Indeed.com slash podcast. Terms and conditions apply. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Now for our story. For the last few evenings, Lily Devon has been staying out front after her performance in the floor show at Del Shepley's nightclub, The Golden Peacock. She was so anxious for Lisa Fenner to make good. Lisa, the shy, lovely young dancer Aunt Mary Lane had entrusted to Del's protection. Tonight, as Lily stood in her favorite vantage point near the hat check stand, she noticed a tall, slender young man with dark, wavy hair and blue eyes. He had been watching Lisa as intently as she had. Lily was certain she knew this young man's identity. He was Lisa's estranged husband, Lance. Lily had recognized him from Lisa's description. Besides, as she stood there, Doris, the hat check girl, gave her a wink to indicate this was the man they discussed the evening before. Now, Lily steps up to him and casually says, how do you like the new show? I think it's Tufts. Uh, what about you? Yeah, it's okay. You don't sound too sold. That's just the way I tick. I always say less than I mean. Oh? I found out it was a good practice the first time I fell in love. <laughs> you sound bitter. No, not bitter. Just cagey. No, I see. How do you think the new girl compares? Or maybe you haven't seen the shows here before. Well, as a matter of fact, I haven't. I'm usually working at night myself. Not a night watchman, I hope. Oh, no, no, no. Why? Uh, don't you like night watchmen? Well, they're all right. Except they sleep all day. Huh? Is that bad? Well, it's so hard keeping the children quiet during the day. Oh, yes. Besides, it, um, it throws your meals all out of kilter. <laughs> Doesn't it? Oh, yes. <laughs> so we've got quite a routine here. <laughs> I think I can book us for three solid weeks in Pocatello. Terrific. Oh, I forgot. I've got a job. Oh, what a blow. And I thought I had a partner. At last. You're looking for a partner? Uh-huh. You say, I might be able to wangle something for you. How about Lisa Fenner, that gal who just finished dancing? She's a swell little dancer. I think she's wonderful. Well, there you are. She thinks you're wonderful, too. She thinks... Hey, wait a minute. Confused? A little... How do you know what Lisa Fenner thinks of me? <laughs> That's easy. In the first place, I know who you are. You do? Sure. You're Lance Fenner. And you were married to Lisa once. Not too long ago, either. <laughs> well, I'll be darned. You're not kidding. You bet I'm not. Well, I'll be darned. You just said that. Yeah, I know. I guess I'm not very bright. But I'm still confused. Okay. Um... Let's see if I can unconfuse you. To begin with, I knew who you were all along. That's why I started talking to you. Oh. Disappointing, isn't it? All the time you thought it was your beautiful blue eyes. I thought you weren't kidding. I'm sorry. Well, you see, I work here too, and I know Lisa quite well. You do? Sure. Of course, I know you're not interested, but just for the record, my name's Lily. Lily Devon. Very glad to meet you. And I mean that. I'm very glad to meet you, Mr. Fenner. And I mean it, too. Yeah, I, uh, I work here. And not only that, Lisa's rooming with me at my place on Oak Street. Well, tell me about Lisa. I 
been so worried about her. I shouldn't wonder. Well, you needn't worry. That is for the moment. Everything's under control right now. You mean things may not stay under control? That sort of depends. On what? On a lot of things. But I'm coming to that. First, maybe we'd better get something straight. If you don't mind my asking you a personal question. No, go ahead. Well, I'm not one to stick my neck out in case I'm completely off the beam, but... I'm under the general impression that you're pretty crazy about Lisa. Would that be wrong? No. No, you're not wrong, Lily. In fact, crazy doesn't begin to say it. Okay, so... So there ain't any words for it. Is that right? Yeah. I guess I've been a fool. You see, it's all my fault, and... No, no, don't bury your soul to me. That's not part of my job at this point. Oh, of course it isn't. You're right. It's something I have to iron out for myself. But I'm afraid that... that well... Afraid of what? <laughs> oh, what's the use? Lisa's probably all fed up with me, and I don't blame her either. I acted like a heel. Yeah, you probably did. Yeah, it's true. I... I'd give anything to make up for it. If I had a chance. But I had my chance. There's no reason why she should give me another one. No reason, except that women are awful dopes when they're in love. But Lisa's not in love with me. Yeah? Who told you? Or did you read it in the newspaper? Well, she couldn't be. Why, I walked out on her. Yeah, I know. She told me about it. If she has, I'm surprised you're even civil to me. Well, come to think of it, I'm a little surprised myself. But I think your conscience has probably punished you enough already. If you only knew. Well, I've got a darn good idea. Well, I'm not going to say I don't think you had it coming to you, because you do. But that's not my funeral, either. Those were awfully good-looking roses you sent her the other night. Did she like them? Yeah. She liked them. Did she say anything? Sure, she said a lot of things. Once she got through crying. Crying? It seems this guy who sent them to her, this ex-husband of hers, name of Lance Fenner, always did that in the old days when they were happy together. Yellow roses were, well, a sort of routine they had. Yes, they were. So naturally, it sort of knocked her for a loop when she got this big bunch of them the other night. Started her to thinking. Remembering. But... She wasn't angry, was she? Angry that I... that I sent them? No, she wasn't angry. Well, that's something anyway. Maybe I shouldn't tell you this, but I'm going to anyway. Yes? Lisa's still in love with you. And I mean in love. You... Are you sure of that? Of course I am. But I... I can't believe she still cares about me. Well, she does, poor kid. If I'd only known before... Well, you know now. I've got to see her. I've got to ask her to forgive me. Well, it's not a bad idea, but... I forgot to tell you something. Oh. I know it was too good to be true. Well, it isn't that, but... Well, Lisa's been awfully unhappy, you know, and she's a funny little kid. Full of notions and terribly sensitive. I know. So don't expect miracles. You, know, you can't barge up to her and say, come to my arms, my own true love, the way they do in the movies. No, I realize that. But at least this gives me something to go on. But don't get your hopes too high. Remember, Lisa's got an awful lot to forget. Sure. I know that. So you'll have to use your head. Go kind of slow. Oh, don't worry about that. I can't expect her to come back to me right away, but if you'll just let me show her how I've changed... And here's another thing you might be up against. What's that? She's awfully worried about the act. Her dancing. She thinks she's no good. Oh, but that's not so. She's a terrific dancer. Well, she doesn't think so. She's got some crazy idea that she isn't worth a nickel without you. It's the other way around. I'm not worth anything without her. Well, if you can make her see that, you're a better man than I am. I've talked myself blue in the face trying to sell her the idea that she's okay. She was always like that. Sort of shy. Had to be encouraged. Yeah. Uh, you ought to know. After all, it ain't for me to try to explain your own wife to you. It'd be wonderful to work with her again. Well, if that's the way you feel, you'd better get going. And fast. Because you might be too late. Too late? Yeah. Lisa's got this bee in her bonnet, oh, some idea that she wants to leave here and go on to New York. So, Mr. Fenner, if you'll take my advice, you'll get on your horse and move. I will. 
And I want to tell you, I think it's swell of you to tell me all this. Ah, oh, nuts. Don't thank me. I happen to like the gal a lot. I want her to be happy. So if she thinks you're nice people, that's good enough for me. Lily Devon wrote the address of her Oak Street apartment on the back of a freight envelope she had in her bag, handed it to Lance with an encouraging smile, and went back to her dressing room. She was feeling very encouraged. It may not be so simple, Lily, since Lisa believes that she's wronged Lance. But on the other hand, perhaps when she sees him, Lisa will break down, confess what she's done, and Lance may understand and forgive her. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.